Tonight from the 8 News Now investigators, a man is shot and killed during a live interview and the shooter facing no charges. The victim's mother just filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the only two other adults who were at the scene. She says there's more to this story and sat down only with 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy. And that's what I didn't have, so I said, you know what? I'm this is a live interview on YouTube, which ends in a tragic way. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drag you back, drag you back. No. Uh, I don't know what happened there. 37 year old Lendor Coney Jr. is the man seen in this reflection on the television screen. He died at the scene after being shot in the head, neck, and shoulder. The other two adults at the scene, Bree Florence, the homeowner, and Lydell Birch, also known as Mocha Blast, and a cast member from the show Life After Lockup. I'm not leaving the backyard. I'm not leaving the scene of the crime because I got blood all over, okay. over my sneakers. If you want me to, I could, dis I could disarm the gun, take the bullets out of it, or leave it as is. This is Birch speaking with a 911 operator after Florence made the call. 911 emergency. I need to leave. I just have to break in my house. Right now, this does appear to be an isolated incident. Metro police say Coney showed up at Florence's home. They exchanged words outside. He took out a baseball bat, smashed cars, and then entered the house. It appears he was angry about Birch being inside the home since he and Florence had a history. They had been in an on and off again toxic relationship for close to three years, according to his mother and best friend. I wish he was still here. I wish that this didn't happen. And I'm sorry that it did. Deborah Gates and Chelsea Ballantyne describe a much different man from the way Coney was described at the scene. A gentle giant at 6'5 who coached basketball and worked security at a middle school. I miss him every day. That's why Lydell Birch is accused of being a scam artist. A Facebook page even dedicated to him with more than 3,000 members. Victims of Lydell Birch, dozens of women say he dated and then swindled them. But as for what unfolded at this scene, he won't be charged. The Clark County District Attorney's Office calls it self-defense. My boyfriend shot him as he broke down my door. The person who went inside the house, the suspect, is he... Who, do you he know was, who he is? He, yes, he was a friend of mine that he liked me and I broke up. We were like not even, even together and he came in the house and said he was going to meet up my boyfriend and he broke the door down <laughs> and, he, and he hit his okay. car. Okay. I got it. I got the call set up. I have officers on the way and I have medical on the way. I need to take I need to take a breath for me. Your ex boyfriend that he's uh that the one that is shot. Yes. No, he wasn't even an ex, he was just a friend. The 8 News Now investigators reached out to both Birch and Florence. During a phone call, Birch used profanity and hung up. In an email, Florence declined to comment. Still hard to believe today. How do you handle each day? Pray to God, ask God to help me to deal with it because, you know, the feelings come and go. Sometimes I'm angry, mostly sad. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Two children were also home during that deadly shooting, but they were not hurt.